You are watching a new edition of Technically Speaking with Jim Wyckoff. Stay tuned. Hi, Jim. Nice to see you again. Hello, Daniela. All right, Jim, break it down for us. What's happening in the markets today? Well, this week we are seeing uh, Monday we saw a short covering bounce and bargain hunting in the uh, precious metals. Uh, Tuesday we're just seeing kind of choppy sideways trading right around unchanged. Uh, gold continues to act like a risk asset. We are seeing a weaker U.S. dollar index this week that is adding a bit of support to the precious metals. So, Jim, if you had to choose the number one price driver of gold right now, you would say it's? Well, I would say it's the uh, weakening of the U.S. dollar index that is uh, a supportive factor that is uh, producing that bargain hunting. The uh, European Union is still uh, in focus by the marketplace. It looks like that situation may have stabilized a bit. That is allowing the risk assets to perform a little bit better this week. And since gold's acting like a risk asset recently, uh, that, that's been beneficial. All right, Jim, can you enlighten us with some thoughts on silver? Well, the silver market has been trading choppy and sideways for about two weeks. Uh, the silver market bears do have the slight uh, technical advantage. Prices have been trending lower for a few weeks. Uh, but any bigger moves in the price of gold, you're probably going to see silver follow. All right, Jim, let's wrap it up and get some final thoughts for investors. Well, near term, technically, in the gold market, we are trading in a kind of a choppy and sideways range here recently. Uh, technical support is at the 1755.50 level, and that's basis the February futures contract. Support is located at last week's low of 1670 and change. Thank you so much, Jim. We'll see you again next week. Next time, Daniela. Bye-bye. And thank you for watching Kitco News. You can email me, as always, your comments and questions and news feedback at kitco.com. For Kitco News, I'm Daniela Cambone.